Good morning, all you lovely daughters out there. Today I come to you with a video with a difference. Today I'm not focusing on your normal standard diamond dot picture, but something to do with your leftover dots. I've decided to start off with a beginner's how-to. I bought a little bit of wooden letters. These are all going to be keychains. I've also got the key rings that when the picture is done that I'm just going to put through the loop. And I think this is going to be a very adorable and quick and easy project to do for a Christmas gift, a teacher's gift, a birthday's gift, however you wish. The things you're going to need basically for here you're going to need um, leftover drawers. For this step over here, you're going to need stencil gum or stencil glue. Doesn't matter, it's the same product. Your dotting stick, a piece of a shaped piece of wood, whichever you would like. You don't have to do a letter. You can find the most adorable little things out there. A brush, paint brush to put paint on the gum, and then some mod podge. To seal it off later. I'll show you that when we get to that step. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to put on three how-to DIY arts and crafts. This one is for the beginners, the uh, um, letter of the alphabet keychain. Then I'm going to make an intermediate butterfly and I'm going to make for the advanced dotters out there. I'm going to show you how to make these adorable little coasters. So stick around. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to put a layer of stencil gum onto these letters. You need to apply two layers. So first I'm going to apply layer number one. There we go. Layer 1 is applied. Just the thin layer is all you need. I'm going to rinse out this brush and then I'll be back for the second layer in one hour. My first layer of stencil gum is dry. I'm going to be adding another layer now and then after an hour, having left it to dry, I'm going to cover it with a covering of choice depending on what you have. This is Desifix paper, the backing of the Desifix paper. This can be used to cover it. This here is glad baking paper where I've just put a star on the one side that is less sticky. I can put this on when it's dry to cover it. Or even another choice is from a previous diamond dotting paper. If you happen to keep the top covers of those, you can just use them as well. Let me apply my second stencil gum layer. Now that I have finished prepping my letters with the covers on and they're dry, we're ready to dot. As you can see, I have a lot of leftover rhinestones from previous pictures. And this tea is going to be for a special someone who likes red. So I've chosen a silver, a nice bright red and a wine red to do this with. And now we're going to have some fun. We're just going to take off the cover and we're going to dot freely. finished with this tea. I think it came out quite beautifully. Now to seal it. To seal the uh, letters, or like I seal all my diamond paintings, I use much Podge with a glossy finish. 
The main reasoning behind sealing this with Mod Podge is not because I'm worried these rhinestones will fall off. The stencil gum is quite strong enough, but it does leave a tacky feeling on the edge, which I feel gathers dust and is sticky on the finger if it touches you. If you cover it with Mod Podge, you're basically sealing off the sticky area. Not the diamonds, you will still have your shine. Let me show you how. I open my Mod Podge, I have a small brush because it's a small letter, and I apply. You will see it is white, but it clear it dries clear. The white helps for you to be able to know where you've applied it. Make sure you get into all the nooks and crannies. You don't want to leave any piece of tacky stencil gum uncovered. I've got this cleaning dishcloth, which I've just wet with water and I've squeezed out the excess water. You can still see the wetness on my hands. And all I'm going to do now, because remember we're covering the tacky, we don't want to cover the diamonds. So I'm going to hold there and I'm going to wipe any Mod Podge that's on top of the diamonds, I'm wiping off. But the Mod Podge that's between the diamonds, they're staying. They stay in place. This way you do not lose the shine from your dotting but you are sealing them in that they can't come off as easily and you're sealing off all the tacky adhesive so that this beautiful piece of work can stay dust free. And that is it, my fellow dotters. I can pack away my dots. I leave this to dry for an, for an hour. I will do the rest of my letters that I have here and then I'll add a picture for you to see how all of them have come out once completed at the end of the video. Please feel free to subscribe to my channels for more how-tos, more craft ideas. Hope to see you all back again soon. Have a lovely dotting day. Here you can see the completed keychains. I have made four of them, just a scattered pattern, however you wish. And then I've taken this one, the S, and I've sort of decided to try and make a pattern with it. Still mostly scattered, but I think it came out pretty as well. So use your imagination. Feel free to make the keychain however you wish. Even dot both sides if you'd like. It's all up to you. I think they came out beautifully.